Patrick, this is the home here behind me where Michael McGee was supposed to move in, but you can see that paper over there in the window. It was placed just before McGee was going to get into the house. The town of Wheatland says improvements were made to the home without proper permits. Now more inspections need to be done. Meanwhile, Kenosha County filed a last minute appeal saying McGee committed his crimes in Racine County in 1987, and that's where he should be placed, not Kenosha County. Late this afternoon, Mark Rogers, who lives next door and with a one year old and the town chairman say they received some good news. I know that we don't want him around here. I know Wheatland don't want him around here, so he's technically not wanted. As of right now, our attorney just told me that uh, placement at this particular address, uh, 32200 Highway 50 Geneva Road, uh, is uh, will not, he will not be placed here for two weeks at least. Now this is a small victory for Kenosha. They got the Court of Appeals to hear the case and bought themselves two more weeks for that violent sex offender, whether he'll be placed in this home or not. Now I did speak to the state as well. McGee is back at Sandridge, a secure treatment center. They say they plan on trying to place him out here when they can. In Kenosha County, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News.